Hi everyone. Uh, today I am going to explain how to use strings in PLSQL programming language. Uh, so first of all, we will see what is uh, PLSQL string. So uh, the string is in uh, PLSQL is a sequence of characters with an optional size specifications. We can give this size. It depends on your requirement. The second point is the characters could be numeric, letters, blank special characters or a combinations of all you can include any combinations of all uh, combinations okay then uh, there are three types of uh, strings available in the uh, plsql we will see what are those so uh, first one is the fixed length string in such strings programmers specify the length while declaring a string the string is right padded with spaces to the lengths to specify it. So this is the fixed length string. Second one, seen, second one is variable length string. In such strings, a maximum length up to uh, 32,767 for the string is specified and no padding takes place. Uh, character large object, objects like uh, clubs these uh, are variable length string that can be up to 128 terabytes so those are the three types uh, of string available in the plsql program uh, now uh, we will see the example how we can implement uh, how we can declare the strings in the uh, uh, plsql programming so for that i am using uh, oracle 19c database in my uh, local machine and i have installed oracle sql developer as a, a query editor so uh, i uh, open a new worksheet uh, to uh, execute that uh, example for the string variable so uh, already i have uh, i have a sample uh, plsql block for string manipulation so i copy from that plsql block from my notepad and paste into the uh, sql developer worksheet so now you can see my uh, sample uh, string code so i will explain one by one the in the declaration sections you can see i have declared the variable yr2 up to 20 characters we can store and uh, the variable name is name then company uh, again uh, we have uh, declared the watcher 2 variable and up to 30 characters we can store then introduction is a club so the choice uh, it's char we can store up uh, only one character because in, inside the bracket we have include one so uh, likewise we have uh, completed our declaration sections then we have uh, move to the we can move to the uh, execution section so uh, you can see in the execution sections i uh, is assigning variable name is pubudu devagama company data cafe introduction hello i am pubudu devagama from data cafe i think i have put yeah you have to put that uh, if not it will uh, not uh, consider okay so uh, that is about the uh, declarations uh, in, uh, initializations for the declared variable then i have uh, I, I have uh, uh, initialized another variable choice equal to y okay so after that you can see i have included the condition simple if condition so if choice is y then uh, these dbms outputs will display if i explain the uh, dbms outputs you can see dbms output put line name you output name will print and company company data cafe will be print and introduction will be print likewise your plsql output will appear okay then now we will uh, execute and see the output so before execute this uh, plsql block i connect to my uh, dbms output so uh, we have uh, connected then control a and uh, run on the uh, I click on the run statement button now you can see as i explained earlier uh, plsql procedure successfully completed so uh, your output will be like this so i will do a small modification for this uh, plsql block if i change this y to let's say n then definitely this output will not coming the reason is this if condition is false anyway i will select this one and execute again now you can see 
in the second time that plsq will proceed is successfully completed but output will not appear so likewise we can uh, declare the variables in the uh, plsq will programming language uh, as a second example now i will show you how to write uh, functions and operators with the string in plsq for that i have a separate uh, example code anyway i will open another sql worksheet like this and uh, copy uh, from my notepad into sql developer okay then i will explain one by one okay mm. i will clear this dbms output uh, then uh, before execute this one i will explain one by one so in the declaration sections i have variable uh, greeting and uh, the data type is watcher 2 the assign well, uh, the hello world is assigning for this then in the first dbms output what happened we are uh, uh, converted into the upper case okay so all the words in hello world will be displayed as upper case then dbms output line lower from this it will convert to the lower case by default uh, all the letters are lower case so the output will be like this then uh, the dbms output put line init cap it means first letter of the word will be capital when we are executing this one so uh, once we execute uh, these uh, commands you can get you can see the output anyway i will explain before execute okay so uh, the second uh, the highlighted uh, dbms output will retrieve the first character in the string you can see greeting first character first okay so next uh, dbms output uh, ret retrieve the last character in the string from the minus one it will indicate the uh, last character and uh, if you need to get only one then we should implement we include as plus one so uh, the next uh, dbms output what happened retrieve the five characters starting from seventh position so you can see uh, substring greeting we are to start from the seventh it because of that we include seventh as a first number then to retrieve the uh, retrieve five characters we have mentioned five so likewise we can get uh, this output so uh, the next dbms output what happened greeting to yeah retrieve the reminders of the string starting from the second character we are going to retrieve the remainders of the uh, strings uh, starting from the second point then last dbms output what happened find the locations of the first e then it will give the location as an index i think uh, you have clear understanding about that uh, string uh, functions and the operators anyway i will uh, execute and get the output okay so i select all uh, commands then yeah i think according to this plsql uh, block it will get that output this is the upper this is the lower this is the init likewise uh, it will get the output so i think you have clear understanding about the string functions and the operators in addition to that i will do the simple example for the trim that is very important when we are working with the plsql programming with string so the trim means if there is any uh, characters from the beginning of the string or uh, end of the string we can uh, eliminate so for that i have a small program i will execute and explain uh, that uh, plsql block for that i have op uh, opened the another sql worksheet then i will copy and paste uh, from my uh, notepad okay so this is the output so you can see in the declaration section i have declared the variable greeting watcher i uh, can store up to 30 characters okay so uh, value is uh, hello world and in the beginning i have a few number of dots and the end i have few dots so in the first dbms output what happened we are uh, going to trim r r trim it means right side uh, we are going to trim from the right side and we are the trim character is dot then it will eliminate these uh, sorry uh, yeah. these characters right side characters then uh, display your output then the uh, the second dbms output what happened it will uh, trim the left side 
will trim these output uh, dots from the character uh, greeting uh, string then it will uh, display rest of the part then from the trim uh, command what happened it will remove all the dots from the beginning and the end so likewise it will give the output then i will show you the output of this uh, plsql block for that i will select all the part of the plsql block now i you can see from the r side uh, r trim what happened it will uh, remove the dots from the r side from the l trim what happened it will remove the dots from the l uh, left side then from the trim it will remove all the dots both left and right side so i think uh, you have a clear understanding about that string and uh, string type types and the string uh, functions and the procedures available in the plsql programming language thank you